Right, welcome. So I want to talk about the biggest issue in the SEO space, and it boils down essentially to one thing, which is one thing that I talk about all the time, but it's keywords, right? Keywords. And people often skim through this and they just jump to all this other stuff and try to find complicated things to build backlinks and do all this technical SEO stuff, and that is important, but if you don't nail keywords, you're not gonna go anywhere, right? And the reason why that is, is before right, you start ranking your site, this is your website right here, before you start ranking your site on Google, and as obvious as this sounds, sound, sorry, you gotta figure out, okay, for what keywords, for what search terms do I want to rank for, right? If this is the Google search bar, right, what things, what words, one word, multiple words, or keywords do, you want, do I want people to search on Google for, and do I want my site to show up for and they click on it, right? Again, sounds super simple, super super dumb, but it is super important. Oftentimes people skip this, right? Because they either focus on their own keywords or yeah, essentially, basically most people focus on their own keywords, but it's not their fault, right? It's uh, the industry's fault because I don't think people talk about this enough and I wanna talk about it, right? And I've talked about this extensively, but I wanna talk about it again. Um, the The, the very first thing you need to understand is you as a business owner, right? Different businesses, different niches, right? Have different uh, words they want to rank for and different ways to satisfy their clients. And in different niches, clients search for different things in different ways, okay? And the very first thing you have to do as the business owner, not as an SEO or not you as a business owner to hire someone to do it for you, right? The very first thing, you, first thing you need to know because you as a business owner know the business and the industry better than anyone else, right? Better than the SEO agency you're hiring or the freelancer you're hiring. You yourself know your business and the industry as best as as you, right? No one else knows it as best as you, right? You know your the in and outs or you should know the in and outs of your business. No. Now what you have to do is you have to put yourself in the customer's shoes, shoes sorry. Put yourself in the customer's shoes for your niche, right? And for your user's problems, because if you have a service or product, you are solving a problem. People pay you money for you to solve problems for them, right? Whether that's a plumbing service or whether that's you're selling wallets online, right? High quality wallets, whether that's, again, a physical product or just a service, you are solving a problem for people and that's why they're paying you. Now, you got to put yourself in the customer's shoes and think, okay, what if I were a customer of my own business, right? If I wanted to pay someone to solve this problem, this issue I have, what would I be searching for? On YouTube, Google, on TikTok, on Amazon, on whatever, right? Whatever, whatever there's like a, a search box, right? Because Amazon is a search engine. TikTok is a search engine. YouTube is a search engine. All the places that have a search box, right, are search engines. Whether that's um, a search engine that delivers video like YouTube and TikTok or one that delivers text like Google or Bing, right? Or one that delivers product listings like AliExpress, Amazon, all these, these uh, e-commerce e platforms, right? You got to figure out what, you got to figure out putting yourself in your customer's shoes, what would they be searching for if they wanted to pay someone else to solve the problem for them, right? And as soon as, as faster you do this, the easier it, you're able to figure out the best keywords and the keywords you want to rank your site for, right? Don't pay someone to do this for you because they can do it all okay, okay, all, all right, but no one else knows this better than you because you know your exact customer's problems, right? You know better than anyone else what people are suffering for and why they're giving you money, right? And as soon as you do this, you're gonna realize that you're gonna be focusing solely on what it's called buyer intent keywords. Not 100%, but most of your efforts will go to this, right? Let's say, for example, I have a dog grooming business, right? I have this business, right, that grooms dogs. People take in their dog, right? Dog goes in, dirty, right? It comes out clean, right? Now, I want to bring in more customers here, right? And I can have, um, I can build my website, and I can build my social medias and drive traffic. So people, before they came into the business, they come from your website. So the website goes and people call 
in this case, if it is local business or a physical business, they come to your site first and then they call your business, right? But how do they come to your site, right? It's via search engines. Again, it can be TikTok, can be YouTube, can be LinkedIn, can be Google, can be Bing, Amazon, all these, whatever, it doesn't really matter, right? Traffic comes in, right? But how does this traffic come in, right? And what type of traffic do you want? And again, by putting yourself in the customer's shoes, you're gonna quickly, quickly realize that you gotta be focusing most of your efforts in buying and keywords. Now, what are these, right? You want people to come into your business, right? Let's say this is again dog grooming niche, right? Let's say people are searching for how to groom a dog, right? And other people are searching for where to groom a dog or how much does it cost to groom a dog? Now, let's say the keyword how to groom a dog has 10,000 searches per month. And the keywords, the sum of these two keywords, where or how much has only a thousand searches per month. Now, you, because you know so much about your business, what do you think is the keywords that has the highest buyer intent. And you don't, even know, you don't even have to own the business to learn this, but the keywords that have the most buyer intent here, right? The highest buyer intent, meaning the likelihood of people wanting to buy your service is much higher on people searching for where or how much. Because again, someone searching for where, they wanna find, okay, where's, where can I just go in and pay someone to do it for me, right? Where can I just pay someone to, do, to groom my dog? Or someone searching for how much, they're after price comparisons, right? Maybe find the cheapest one or most expensive one, right? They want to just pay someone to do it for them. Again, while someone's searching for how to groom a dog, most likely they want to see a video, read a blog post, detailing exactly how to actually groom a dog, because maybe they want to groom it at home. So again, it's not 100% this, but most likely the buyer intent in these ones is much, much higher than these ones, even though the search volume here is higher, right? And so if you had to make like a matrix of buyer intent and traffic, so that's high buyer intent here, low buyer intent here, low traffic here. Ideally, you wanna focus on this quadrant right here and this quadrant right here. Don't focus on low traffic buyer intent, doesn't make sense, or high traffic low buyer intent. An example of this could be, for example, um, how to groom a dog, right? It's, I wouldn't say that it's here, right? High traffic, low, low, low buyer intent, because you can, I guess, convert some people that are searching for how to groom a dog into paying customers, right? Whether, for example, let's say you have this long blog post on how to groom a golden retriever with all these steps, right? And people find it maybe, oh, it's too long, I'm just gonna go and pay someone. Or maybe you include uh, some links to your products here, right? If they really wanna groom the, their dog, right, at home, you include some dog grooming links to your Shopify store for selling them dog grooming products. Now, again, it is, this isn't just, this isn't the, just a 100% non buyer intent keyword, but I, I think you get my point, right? Try and focus on these two, right? Not these two particularly. Because again, I mean, if you're investing resources, money and time into SEO and into ranking for keywords, you might want to start with the low hanging fruit and focusing on maybe low search volume here, because I mean, the lower the search volume in theory, the easier they are to rank for and high buyer intent. Now these keywords are hard to, to find, these ones should be a bit easier, but again, the more traffic, the harder they are to rank, right? So high buyer intent keywords with high traffic are often the hardest ones to rank, but if you can find in your niche keywords here, that's the best thing you can do. And that's the big issue because people just go and, and are lost here. They try to rank for this here, then this, then this, and this, and they're all over the place, right? But again, if you're able to put yourself in the customer's shoes and figure out, okay, what would I, as a potential customer, they want this particular problem solved, wanting to pay someone would search for on any given search engine. And if you do that, right, and if, even if you hire an SEO agency after, you're able to communicate this with them, right, because again, you know the business in and out, and you know the people in and out, your customers in and out, you communicate that information with them, and they're able to do an even better job. So yeah, that's it. And I even give you an example here, like if you wanna write actual articles, and I'll give you an example here for dog grooming as well, just go here and type in, uh, Golden Retriever, because I did write a couple of articles on, on Golden Retriever dog grooming. Um, all this here, these articles right here, these are all done with AI. The feature of the image, the table of content, right? The proper content structuring with, uh, this ones actually have in article videos. Again, videos are relevant to what the content is about. It's a video about Golden uh, dog, uh, golden Retriever grooming, sorry. And the article is about how to groom a Golden Retriever, right? There's images, links, videos in the article, as you see here, um, links to other pages on my site, links to external sources, all this then with AI. I can just skim through these ones right here and I can post them straight to my site.
Site can be anything I want. It can be, like I said before, a Shopify store, right? Or it can just be WordPress, Ghost, Wix, Webflow, Bloggers, API, or XML API, right? You can play around with this. There's a couple more stuff that this tool does, like uh, this automatic keyword research for you. So you just go here to keyword monitors, add your site, right? Add the tar target country, target language. It's gonna give you a list of keywords with their respective monthly searches and difficulty. And you can, and you can sorry, again, you can skim through this while to, to give you guys some ideas because you, again, you will know better than anyone else uh, the keywords people could be searching for, and then you just use this to make a match and, th and see, okay, in fact, this actual this keyword actually is buyer intent and has low search traffic, so I'm gonna target this one, right? And you can take these keywords, you can have the AI produce content based on how these keywords. You can even set up an auto blocks just so it in the back end, while you ha don't have to do anything, it automatically generates and posts articles to your blog, everything every single month, week, day, pair of hours. Uh, you can even do, most people just do five, every week, so Monday through Friday, but you can play around with this. You can even set up an index or so the content is automatically indexed in Google. You can even syndicate it to social media. So essentially what this all does is you're connecting the AI with your site, right? The AI is doing the Q research for you, doing the content generation, content publishing, content indexing, and as soon as the blog posts land on your site, right? And again, these are all uh, properly written with, this is an individual blog post right here with featured image, table of contents, proper content structuring, in article images, in article videos, bullets, tables, quotes, external links, internal links, so these articles will be interlinking between each other in a way that makes sense. The article will also link out to authority sources in the space. But again, as soon as they're published to your site, they're gonna be syndicated to your social media platforms like LinkedIn, uh, Twitter, which is now called X, uh, Facebook, and a bunch of others. Right? You can essentially automate the whole content creation and syndication process uh, with a couple of clicks, right? So yeah, that's it. That's the video, hopefully it was valuable. And I'll leave a link for this down below in the description if you wanna give it a go. If not, it's fine. And yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.